Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to deploy an API service into Backendless. An API service is really just a class that you would define in Java, uh, JavaScript, uh, or it could actually be a piece of logic that you would create with a technology that we call Codeless. So uh, that logic or your class would have uh, a collection of methods. Each method is essentially an operation that can be invoked. And Backendless automatically creates API endpoints for each method, for each uh, piece of logic that is included into that API service. To deploy an API service, you would switch to the business logic section in Backendless console. And uh, by default, it's going to be empty. So let's just go ahead and create an API service. Uh, and to do this, you click on this plus sign right here. You get the pop-up that says new service. Uh, to demonstrate how API services work, we included a couple of sample services that are already written, pre-packaged, and, and you can deploy them with a single click. So for instance, if I switch to Codeless, notice that there is a checkbox that says Use Sample Shopping Cart Service. It is selected, there is a service name assigned, you can modify it if you'd like. Click Save, and this starts the process of deploying that service into Backendless. So now we have this Codeless Shopping Cart Service, and these are individual methods. Uh, which that uh, service has. Uh, one of the methods is called get instructions. You can see the full URL of that method right here in this uh, uh, text area. Uh, you can copy the whole uh, URL and that's going to be the endpoint that you can invoke. Uh, and you can also invoke it directly from Backendless Console. So click Invoke and you get the response. So this response comes from the actual API service from the Get Instructions uh, method. So in here you can actually just read the instructions and uh, they will tell you exactly what needs to be done, how to play with that service, how to invoke individual methods and uh, what those methods do. And uh, as you can see it is very very easy. Uh, there is also a Java-based API service, so if you click plus again, and in the hosted section, you can click the checkbox uh, for the, again, sample shopping cart service, click save, and now we have two services. One, as you can see, is in Codeless, and the other one is in Java. So the implementation is going to be identical. Once again, I will click uh, invoke for the get instructions method and I'll get the response from that service. Likewise, all other methods will uh, do something and the name of the method suggests what it does. So adding an item is going to be adding uh, an item to the shopping cart. You can delete an item. You can get a list of all the items from this cart. Uh, I will not bore you with all those details here in this video uh, since we're focusing just on deploying the services. Whenever you build your own service, you can package it into a zip file uh, and our documentation describes how to do this. You can click browse, locate that zip file and then upload it into Backendless and exactly the same thing will happen. You will see your service with all the methods. Uh, for Codeless, you can give it a name, click save and then you will start building your own API service. But that's going to be a subject of a different video. But for now, uh, what I wanted to show to you is how to deploy those sample services. You can start playing with those services instantly without developing one and experiencing the kind of things that you can do with API services in Backendless. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and as always, happy coding.